Nous sommes ici aujourd'hui pour leur rappeler qu'une entreprise essaie d'abuser ses valeurs pour son ambition de faire plus de profit euh, euh, en s'appuyant sur ses employés, ce qui est Rio Tinto, l'un des géants minières plus grandes du monde, qui fournit des médailles pour les Jeux Olympiques. Last week, we submitted a complaint to the LOCOG against Rio Tinto and we are here today to remind the International Olympic Committee that they have a responsibility to uphold fundamental principles of fair play and basic human rights when working with companies who have the prestige and honor in supplying Olympic goods. Um, so we are aware of it. What I would say, I mean obviously I'll look, we'll go away and look at this and comment on it. I would say that the, obviously the medals themselves are a matter for the London Organising Committee. That's obviously we work with them. I'm not saying we're not responsible too, but it's more a matter for the London Organising Committee. But from our side, there's, there's not a credible argument. So no, no, that's what I just at said. At the end, all these medals are Absolutely. going to be given by yourself uh, at the Games uh, themselves. Absolutely. That's why you need to reconsider the yeah. situation. No, I'm, I'm Absolutely. We urge the International Olympic Committee to demand that Rio Tinto ends its attacks on workers and the environment, starting with the lockout in Canada, or tell Rio Tinto to get off the podium now. Nous allons continuer à lutter contre Rio Tinto. Nous allons continuer à venir ici encore une fois constamment, fréquemment, jusqu'à ce que ce problème soit. Euh, résolu euh, immédiatement.